Hello everyone and welcome back to He Makes Me Play. I am Marius and I'm blind. I can't see and so I make other people play video games. And today I am back with Stefan. Hello Stefan. Hi Marius. We are back in the land of dwarves. Yes, we are indeed. Yes, with a completely new fortress. We heard about the Steam version coming out and we thought, hey, let's not play that but play Dwarf Fortress in preparation for the Steam version. So we're just, yeah, we, we just wanted to play the old version because we only have a Mac. But that's what we're doing today. Yes. Uh, until we have a Windows thing, we just wanted to sort of um, get into it again. So if you want, you can watch us do that. So uh, we literally have not talked about what, what this is or what we're planning to do here. This is but, the first time we're looking at this area. Yeah, but uh, still you, you maybe can see that something has changed at least. Oh yes, we took your comments into account. <laughs> and months later we return with graphical, uh, the graphically enhanced edition of Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, which makes my life a lot <laughs> easier, I think. Yes, um, I've put you through the ringer. Mm -hmm. of uh, the ASCII torture, which I still find delightful and uh, I would generally prefer, even if I could see, but uh, people seem to like it. I, I don't know why. They like the graphics. Yep. Um, I mean... Why do you like them, Steffen? Hmm. I think it's it's uh, some kind of uh, nostalgia from you to, to, to like this... Absolutely not. I'm completely free of nostalgia. Okay. But you're you're evading. I asked you why you like this, not why I like the other thing. Because I I can see much more now. I mean, I I, that's I a began, very straightforward answer. <laughs> I, I began to read uh, uh, to to reading the Matrix. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's still difficult. And as you can see, we also we have a mini map on our left side, on our right side. Excuse me. Um, so we still have to to read it a little bit, but um, is that also graphical now? No, it's it's still uh, ASCII. Oh, okay. I um, see. But everything else, I think we can can see uh, uh, quite nicely. You can just see it as a, gl as a glance, right? You yeah. don't, don't need to decipher what yes. the script means. Yes. A tree is just a tree. I can see the... the a barrel, just a barrel. Yeah, I can see the barrel. I can see the anvil. I can see the cat and yeah. the camel and the dwarves. And I guess this is kind of sane. Okay. I will concede that. So let's look at it. What do we have here? You can, by the way, I just want to point out, you can use tab, I think, to make the menu disappear so you can get a big view at everything. Yes. You may want that. Can we just get a lay of the land? Can you describe to me what, what's the area we're looking at? Are there any interesting features? I mean, it's I, I don't know if they're interesting, but uh, our, um, our uh, group of dwarves with their cart is parked mm -hmm. right north. Of an of a mountain, okay. I think that's so. That's a good start. Just in the south, there's all everything is mountain. That's cool. Yeah. Then and in the north, uh, we're standing on yeah you know, some kind of a, a very flat surface area, which is uh, full of vegetation, so green stuff, nice. bushes and mm -hmm. trees and some little ponds. And uh, yeah, in the north, a few tiles north, there's the river flowing from uh, west to 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 east or uh, uh -huh. the other way around i'm not sure this is uh, where we are right now okay um i guess then like th there's nothing else to do except digging right digging. digging um and i would say we start again with just a simple tunnel into the southern rock mm -hmm. i would say we since it sounded like the mountain is the entire southern part of the map. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, just just place the entrance tunnel centrally and going south. How many tiles wide is what you say is the mountain? Like, oh, it's huge. Like, I don't mean uh, like how f how how far south can we dig? I mean, uh, so from west to east, it's it's more than the whole screen. So uh -huh. it's 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 a really nice flat um um yeah uh, wall start of mountain face. wall of mountain sure yeah. but I, I mean how far south could we dig how many tiles i'm just trying to estimate how long how the entrance tunnel could, could become uh let's see was it shift move to move i think move? shift or control and then moving and that moves you 10 or 11 tiles 10 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, that's a ten. Lot. Okay. Uh, so more than a hundred tiles. That's fine. To that's, the south and yeah, to the east yeah. and to the west. So we have plenty of space. 
I would say we just let's make it 30 long the entrance tunnel and that's 30. important because this will be you know for defense how uh, wide should it be I would say we start with just one tile wide uh, but so that we can widen it later right okay. right now we really just want to get everything inside mm -hmm. one tile and then 30 you said one two three Okay. Sounds good. And, and then they will start digging. And now, here's a bit of a question. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. have a bit of a discussion. Like, last time we had a kind of a concept for the fortress, mm -hmm. right? There was one big hall, mm -hmm. multiple Z levels, mm -hmm. uh, and then sort of uh, wings going out from it. Mm -hmm. And the uh, storage was like opposite of this main hall. Um, yes. Do, do you have some kind of idea or preference for how you would like the general layout of this place to be um i mean i'm not um one thing i was thinking about is uh if it's a good idea to store base you said storage I'm, I'm not sure if we put all our stuff there but maybe it's a better idea to to have different storages well one for like um stone and and we, we, we definitely had that okay we had that above and below like workshops small storage ah, spaces and then and i would mm. recommend anyone would do this i think to mm. just have one big general storage place mm -hmm. for basically long-term storage mm. stuff that is in use and gets worked on that gets little work storage spaces that are strewn about the fortress but I think it's good to have one central storage location. Yes. But that's ir so irrespective of the layout of the fortress, right? Yes, but it, it's a good good idea to have some some central sto uh, storage yeah. where you can come it's very fast like from It's just like 10 by 10 and then yes. multiple levels. Mm -hmm. uh, you do want to place that somewhere and we do need to know where we are placing that because um, we want that now so we can put the wagon and all the stuff on it in there immediately. I mean, then maybe just... And the opposite opposite side of the entrance again. Like do we you? Did the last but time. do you want a big hall? Between? Sure, it's a dwarf fortress. We need an entry hall. Should we it's just do the same thing? Um, not everything, but I mean, these two things, I guess. Just well, yeah, sure. Um, so twenty by twenty. I would say we we do this now. Yeah, just make a well. Let's just make try making it smaller. Let's see what just what happens. Okay. Like a 10 by 10. 10 How about 10. that? Okay, one, two, three. I do want to do five. something differently. I don't know. 10 by 10. So one down, one left. Okay, 10 by 10. Maybe we just make many small halls. I don't know. How, how big should we make the storage? Just 10 by 10 or 20 by 20? So I think it's more impressive when it's 20 by 20. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Or maybe maybe halfway, 15 by 15. How does that look? You have to be the visual judge here. Mm. Maybe 20 by 20 is easier because it's very simple for you to designate with yes. a shift. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Just make sure it's <laughs> sort of centrally placed. Okay. You yeah, know, of course. And do you know what I my obsession with symmetry is? Yeah, yeah. You are no stranger to it. No, and I'm also okay. a big fan of it. Yeah. And you just leave like space between and uh, the pathway to the storage area just one tile wide as well. I would say yeah, just make one tile for a doorway. Mm -hmm. This time let's keep it simple. And maybe now we can like, you know, make more of these 10 by 10 halls on the left and the right of the storage. You know what I mean? And in sou south of the storage. It looks nice. 20 by 20 and 10 by okay. 10. Okay. It l looks quite big, but we have the... Pl the, the oh, we we'll fill it up. Don't worry. Uh, okay. And nice. I think um, the, the dwarves should get to work. You so can also designate a bunch of lumber to be chopped down if you want, because the carpenter won't yes, have anything right. to do right so now. So this is... Uh, I'm in the designation menu, and I can chop down trees with T. Now I designate an area, right? And then they will chop down trees in yeah. this area. Right? Yeah. So and I forget if you have to designate all the Z levels of the tree or just the lowest. I will just do the lowest. Yeah, I, I mean, think they can't get enough. to the upper yeah. level right yeah, now. You're so. right, yeah. Okay. Uh, un um, unpause the game and the dwarves are getting to work. Yeah. I hope we have good miners. 
It seems like it, because they are quite quick, actually. Okay. Should we see uh, what is what our units are, what we have? Oh, sure. I mean, we just took the standard Embark options, mm -hmm. I, but let's go through it r just real quick. So, how, where can a unit list for you? Let's see. So, oh, okay, we have a miner, expedition leader, a woodcutter, a stone worker, mm -hmm. a jeweler, a fish cleaner, and a fisher dwarf. Nice. That's very nice indeed. A fish cleaner, I'm so glad. <laughs> Is he the expedition leader? No. Oh, okay. The expedition leader's just the expedition leader. Okay. okay. And at the moment, four of them don't have a job. Yeah, yeah, we'll The fisher we'll dwarf there. fishes right now, which is great, I think. It's okay, yeah. One is digging, and uh, four have no job at the moment. Um, let's see. And the yeah, the lumber, the lumberjack did some work and fell fell some trees, or chop, chopped down some trees. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, yeah, and the fisher dwarf. I mean, he can fish, right? And to get some food supply for yeah, the start. Don't worry right? about this stuff. We can close this now. Just let them dig out. There will be jobs for everyone in a very short time. Should we assign other dwarves to dig out the whole space? Because then it will We don't faster. have more than two pickaxes, I don't think. But at the moment, just one is mining. Why? I don't know. Because the other ones are not miners. Yeah, we, uh, we don't have enough pickaxes to make them miners. Ah, okay. I, I, I don't think so. Where can we see how much pick pickaxes we have? Um, I'm you not sure. You need. Uh, I think you need an inventory manager to go through your stuff first, <laughs> which we don't <laughs> have right now. Okay, okay. You would have seen it on the embark screen, which we just skipped, and I think it just gives you as many miners as you have pickaxes. Okay. Because pickaxes to take them along is is expensive, costs a lot of uh, points. Mm -hmm. But it, don't worry about it. Just let him dig out the storage. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll get there. Yes. <clears throat> so what will be the plan afterwards, digging them out? I mean, can we, can't we assign, uh, assign a dump pile outside mm -hmm. somewhere I was thinking already? About, I was thinking about it. The so thing we failed so horribly at and had a bit of stone last time. We yeah. did that. But that would be for all the stones inside to get them out yes but i would um we could also put the dumps the dump inside somewhere i'm not sure where hmm. um i haven't figured this fortress layout out because when we when we do so mm, the other dwarves could get to work as well right they don't worry about it they will get to work in just a second okay <laughs> just when you here's what's going to happen right yeah once you have the storage area dug out yeah. will designate that entire area as general storage that takes in everything. Okay. And then every little dwarf will be so busy just carrying every little thing from the wagon to that storage pile. Okay. Right? That will be the first job. Um, but of course, you do want... You are right about... We want to get the stones out of there just for aesthetics, if anything. Mm. So maybe... Like, where would you put the dump? It's just the, like one square we have to designate somewhere. You can just put it outside anywhere, right? I mean, sure, yeah, okay. You just, um, oh, it's better to have it inside because in the long run, I mean, I guess you can delete the dump afterwards if you want. Sure. Otherwise, you know what I mean? If much later in the game you designate something to be dumped, yes, a dwarf will have to run outside, which is a potential security hazard in case of sieges or mm -hmm. ambushes. Mm -hmm. I, I see. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could also dig, like, another tunnel. What if we do, like, a square sort of design where this sort of 10 by 10 entrance hall, if we just, in a regular pattern, repeat that, you know, to the left and to the right, and then going south. Do you know what I mean? Not really, no. So you have the 10 by 10 entrance yeah. way, right? And then Now, of course, I know that it's an even number, but let's say you dig a two wide tunnel to the west i don't know how long what would look good maybe mm -hmm. five tiles and then at the end you make another 10 by 10 hall and we sort of repeat this pattern do you know what i mean yeah we could do this uh, for and actually you for may some time we yeah have space enough space but how long should the tunnel be maybe 
um, so that stuff fits in between, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's at least most rooms will be three by three. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put that on both sides, you already need six, and then seven in between, and then two tiles for the walls, right? So I I I add up to nine. <laughs> Maybe we should okay. round it to 10. Uh, I mean, the, the room I've made, I actually just see it now is 11 by 11. Ah, yeah, I was thinking that, that you uh, jump 11 for some reason. Mm. And probably the storage is uh, 22 by 22. This could be possible, yes. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, but still, then, I don't know. Let's So, yeah, why not? Uh, so designate some some mining be done i mean then th it's no problem to make these these hallways just one tile wide right uh you should make them at least two because okay. if it's just one in the long run the dwarves will get into traffic jams okay because they can't pass through each other a dwarf literally has to duck and then the other one has to pass over him uh, and that will slow them down okay and then we need rooms which are three by three, you said? No, I, I was just thinking out loud. Mm. Um, I'm just... So the original idea was where to place the dump. I mm. don't want the dump in our entrance hall. No, that's a bad idea. Yeah. yeah, so we just make another... A second hall, which is a good idea anyway. And I would propose to dig a tunnel from the entrance hall um, west. Mm -hmm. Let's just make it ten long. Mm -hmm. And then make another 11 by 11 hall. Okay. Uh, there. And in that hall, we can just place the dump. Okay. Right? So this is then already a utility hall, not an sort of, yeah. entrance hall. Okay, let's see how this looks. looks fine. Alright. I think. We can just let him dig until we can designate the dump. Yeah, he just so he dug out the basically the whole um, starting area, the, the entrance hall. Yeah, it's that's done. Dug out, yeah. Nice. And we have struck silver. Actually. Oh, that's so good. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make weapons out of that. Uh, silver weapons, really? Well, uh, cutting weapons won't be any good because silver is too soft. Uh -huh. But silver is still heavy, so you can make hammers, and that will hurt people. Oh, huh. and right? bolts maybe. But um, yeah, I think so. Okay. But okay. they also have to pierce, so I think silver is not ideal. But you can also make bolts out of wood, so who cares? Mm. Yeah, it takes a lot of time to to get this okay, dug out. Okay, but the entrance hall is done. The entrance hall is done. Right you now. can place a mason's workshop there if you want, and we can already start crafting shit. Okay. Uh, this is being really efficient now. Uh, what do... It's a B. B? For building. Uh-huh. And then, uh, what was workshop? W? Big W? Hmm. Capital W? W. Okay, workshop. Okay, and then masonry. Masonry. M. Yeah. Mason's workshop. Yeah. Just okay. place that. This is a temporary workshop. You know the drill. Just place it in the middle of the entrance hall. Or wherever. I will take the top right corner. All right. Place. Okay. The mason now has to build it. Or stonework or whatever. Do we have a mason? I forget already. Mm, let's see. Unit list. We have a stoneworker. Yeah, can you look at him with like, look at his jobs? Mm -hmm. I think that was with V and then some sub option. First I have to place this with granite. Ah, now it's placed, okay. Yeah. Um, v for unit. I mean, some dwarf is coming now. This is the stone worker. He's building this right now. Okay, maybe He's a novice engraver, mason, mechanic okay. and mm -hmm. building design. Yeah, mason is what we want right now. That's great. We want to just, you know, we can make some doors and tables and chairs, stuff we're going to need. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and he can use all the stone that is lying around anyway. Oh, he's done already. Yeah, go f go with... Um, crap, what was it? Uh, t into the building options with Q, I think. 
Okay, Q. This, by the way, is all different than the Steam version. Really? Yeah. They, it said, I read about it, it said they changed all the hotkeys. So oh, no. I wouldn't be able to help you there. <laughs> so so we will staying at this. <laughs> I think this No, is I do want to play the Steam version eventually. Yeah, I mean, we can try it out yeah. and play the tutorial. So add a new task and construct some stuff. Yes. And Blocks, thrown, coffins. Make many things. Make door first. Door. And then another one. Make table. Uh, where can I scroll there? So make rock one weapon table slab cover create door there D for door um, and then table. How many do we want? We just put everything on repeat. Okay R and then uh, add a new task. What was the other thing? Table. A table. Sure thing. A table and on repeat. Yeah. And then? Chair. Chair. Um, I don't find a chair. Throne. <laughs> yeah. It's because it's out of stone. It's called yeah. a throne. Is there anything else? Maybe... Uh, I can read through the list. I mean, sure. armor stand, blocks, coffin, door floodgate, hatch, cover... I guess. Mm -hmm. Great cabinet uh, coffer. Wow, all that out of stone. Yeah, make some cabinets and coffers. Uh, statue slab, table weapon wrap, uh, we weapon rack. Mm, that's for noble. Quern and a millstone. No, just make some cabinets and coffers. Uh, and bookcase, pedestal, and altar source. Oh, that's for the new stuff. We'll get to that. Okay, so cabinet and coffers. You yeah. Said, right. Yeah. This is an F, and then an H. Alrighty. This is now. These are now the tasks. Return to game. Yeah. Unpause. And yeah, and he will just be busy now churning out that stuff and using up rocks. That's cool. Yes, nice. So that's the second dwarf who's busy. Maybe we should place a, a fishing workshop or something like this. Yeah, the fish cleaner, right? You can do that. Because, I mean. Otherwise, the fish go bad. The, the fisher dwarf fishes fish. Yeah, no, you're completely right. That's a good idea. You can also put that just in the entrance hall. And clean fish won't go to waste, right? I so mean, they'll eventually rot. Yeah, but, okay. um, not so fast, yeah. <coughs> so, a B for buildings, I right? I think it's just a fishery. Might be in the workshops. Uh, w for workshop. So, we have quern millstone loom, carpenters. Farmer's Kitchen Fishery. What an odd name. Well, really? That's what it's called. Okay. Don't you have a fishery in your home? No, I don't. <laughs> so into the dungeon or into the... It's dwarf? just temporary, so place it wherever you want. I mean, you could place it outside, I guess. I mean, the fishing it is stinks. done outside. Like, I, I wouldn't want it inside. Okay. I okay. wouldn't want to be anywhere close to, f to a fishery. Okay, so we put it outside. With willow logs, we will build it. Ah, uh, yeah, it's temporary, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now... Oh, now everybody is busy, actually, with digging, drinking, drinking, constructing rock tables, eating, constructing building, and fishing. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> it still takes a lot of time to dig out this whole area, but... The miners uh, will get better. The thing is, uh, this... This is something you can do when you embark. Increase the skill level of your miners for mm. some points. Mm. That's And that's that's the result. They will mine faster. And give them two pickaxes, right? So we have more than one miner. You, well, this will double the... Oh, do we only have one? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would start with two miners, really. Nobody else is working in the mines currently, so... Um, yeah, I mean, you can pick someone and enable mining jobs for them in case we do have another pickaxe and for whatever reason, just maybe someone doesn't have the job enabled. I don't know, maybe the expedition leader was the miner or whatever. Okay. Usually you start with two, but I mean, so just pick a dwarf who's useless and enable The jeweler mining. maybe, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So B for labor, no job. Uh, no. Um, okay, how can I... Uh, this is again... So, inventory preferences... 
or general. Currently, I'm in general, I think. Preferences, right? Preferences, probably. Then labor. Yeah. Uh, and enable, enter mining. Okay. That's enabled Escape now? Escape, okay. done. So that's great. If there is a pickaxe, he's going to go get it and get to work. If not, then not. He got the pickaxe and nice. went to work. You were right. I should have listened to you in the first place. Uh, should I try with another dwarf? The if you want, leader. yeah, sure. But I bet you there's only two pickaxes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where is he? The woodcutter? No, the woodcutter no, is he cutting is wood. actually useful. And then there's the expedition leader. Yeah, t pick him. Mining. Enabled. Okay. Uh, escape done. Nice. He is sleeping still. Of course. Of course. The leader. Typical boss. Boss dwarf. <clears throat> Great. Yeah. So I can't think of other stuff to do except build a carpentry workshop and make beds. Mm -hmm. um, I, mean, you I can, can do this. Building yeah. a workshop. A carpenter's workshop is C. I will put this into the fortress. Build this with granite. And pause and somebody the cat is doing it no the cat is running in and out <laughs> yeah cats okay. can't build things <clears throat> so currently um two dwarves are actually sleeping mm -hmm. but the fishery is built nice. um lots of logs are laying outside yeah i will fix all the that. fisher dwarf is running to the to the to fish to fish yeah and one Dwarf is blinking red. Uh oh. And oh, we have to. A short break. A short break, yeah. And we're back. Yeah. So, what were we doing? Digging out the second hall. Is I that right? Um, indeed. And also the, the storage area. Then the mason is doing some sure. stuff. Yeah. And I was asking because a dwarf is um, blinking red. Yeah, what's up with that? Let's uh, hit K and look at him. Ah, K is the... K is to look at individual items. Mm -hmm. uh, tiles, you mean? And items in those, in those tiles, which gives you the most direct information. Okay. But you can't access like a dwarf's labor options and stuff. I don't know which menu might be more useful. Let's start with K and look so at the So it's the, the fish cleaner yeah. in dense saw, saw grass. Yeah. Um, what's going on with them? What I do you know. see on his tile with K? Just dense sawgrass. And him? He's and him. not listed? Just him. Okay, him hit V. Do it with V. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why he's blinking red. Is he on fire? I don't, I don't think so. So we go to general. Is he full of blood? Maybe it's blood from the fish. Okay. Or he got attacked by a snap turtle. Okay, I, I look at wound, right? Sure. Does he have any wounds? How can I see if he has wounds? With V, and there is a menu called Wounds. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah. yeah. If th nothing is listed, I think he's fine. I mean, everything is listed. Upper body, but is lower it body. red? Nothing is red. Everything is white. Then he's fine. Okay. I don't know. I don't, <clears throat> I don't know why he's blinking red. You must also remember, this is now graphics mode, and I cannot assist you with interpreting visual cues as much as I could in ASCII. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, if there's like real danger, the game will give you an alert. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. So the I don't Fisher know. Fisher is sleeping in the river. Nice. <laughs> That's dumb. Is the, is the carpentry workshop done? The carpentry workshop? Yeah, I think we built one. Where did I put it? That's so much fun. There, I always yeah. have so much fun playing this game It's with it's you. It's... Uh, thank you. Me too as well. Um, we build it inside the uh, entrance area. Sure. And it's there. Just make beds. B uh, for <coughs> building. No, not B for building. How do I do this? Wait. Wait. B okay, and then W hint. for workshop. No, no. Oh, you're set in the... Building, sorry. Yeah, buildings yeah. and tasks <coughs> and press. It's like, isn't it A for new task? Uh, first of all, it's Q, Oh, right. right. Q, A, A, A and for B. Me. Okay, wooden shield buckler, wooden bucket, and a cage, chair, casket, a bed. A bed. There. And just just make s seven or eight. We don't have that many dwarves yet. <coughs> so two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. 
escape. Done. Okay. And now the lumberjack is doing that. That's fine. And the cat is following. Maybe that's his cat. We have a camel. Actually. That's cool. We can butcher it and eat it. <laughs> Great. <coughs> also, they make milk, I think. And K was to, to look at individual tiles, right? Yeah, or like creatures or items. Because I want to look at, at the <coughs> wall we have here. Uh, ah, it might be made of wall. silver. So we have rough hewn resin opal, cl opal cluster. Oh, nice. So there are uh, some jewels in there. Riches. Uh, granite we have. Siltstone. Nice. Oh, I love this mountain. We dug into loam. <coughs> sandy loam. I don't know what this right. is. That's a kind of sand. Um, more opals. Mm -hmm. Then we have tetrahedrite. I, is that Clay stuff stone? you can make into iron? I don't know. I think it's just stone. Iron is just iron ore, right? No, it is hematite, magnetite, and a third one I never can remember. Tetrahedrite. <coughs> well, I don't think so. Uh, some more opals are here. Uh, <coughs> iron containing ores are usually in sedimentary layers, and you're probably in a, yeah, what's it called? A mountain layer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I mean, this is based on real geology. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the ores are real. I think everything in this game is real except adamantium. <laughs> That's okay. not real. <clears throat> and they're more. placed in ge geologically correct locations. Okay. Or at least sane locations. Yeah, and some silver walls we have. Yeah, that's cool. As I said, you can make weapons out of that. But we need a furnace and an, and an anvil, <coughs> right? We'll get to that. <coughs> this time we actually have an anvil, so we'll get to that much sooner. <coughs> All right. <coughs> and, yeah. I like this design that we might be going for. We just have lots of little halls, and each hall maybe has a theme. Like oh here's, oh this is a great idea yeah here's where dwarves sleep and this is like the woodworking hall and stuff okay so what should be then the, the like the hall? yeah I mean when we have many halls I think some of the halls which need uh, which needs which need the most protection should be in the back right so well what could be <coughs> in the front like the workshops are maybe okay. I, I would rather, um, so d security concerns, mm -hmm. that's what we have that 30 long corridor for. Okay. Which we can stuff full of traps and so stuff. So if, if <coughs> anything comes inside the entrance hall, we're fucked? Or? No, the entrance hall, um, I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah, we're fucked, but it won't come to that. We okay, will, okay. We will secure that tunnel, um, Rigorously. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're basically already way in the back, and I would rather think about what's what are the first things we need right now, and those things will fill the first halls. And I would say uh, this this hall to the left, the, the western hall, it should have some sleeping quarters and a dining hall mm -hmm. is what I'm voting for. A dining hall and? Sleeping quarters. Let's just mm, yeah, why not? make little rooms for the dwarves. Mm-hmm. You know? First of all. So they feel at home there. Hmm? Yeah, last time we let them sleep on the floor for a long time. Yeah. No need to do that now. But we before we dig more, I'd like them to finish the digging. Yes, that they are, they're still it. not finished. Yeah, okay. But uh, we have struck some kunzite. That, K U N Z I T E. <laughs> that sounds like a very bad word, Stefan. Kunzite? Anyway. Kun Kunzite? I, I I don't know what that is. It just sounds funny. It's a is it a gem or an ore? I'm not sure. I actually. think hmm, hematite, tetrahedrite. I think stuff ending in ite is probably an ore. Adamantite. Yeah. That's right. Huh. Maybe it's an ore. Yeah. It's it's purple. Like okay. purple clusters. That's nice. You can make purple stuff out of it. By the way, did uh, can you try placing a door? Uh, in the uh, entrance tunnel? Yeah, like right at the edge of the mountain. Sure. Like we should have doors B by now. D for build, D for door. Yeah. And then right at the entrance? Yeah. This is already basic security. Just random critters can't get in then. Place on door. Granite doors. Yes. That sounds pretty heavy. That's nice. Okay. It's done. <clears throat> Good. Well, it has to be placed there. But I think a dwarf will, will oblige. 
Let's see. Granite door. Yeah, it's there. Nice. <clears throat> it has started raining. Uh, we should. It, it already uh, rained a few hours ago. So um, we definitely should make some shelter. Well, I mean, the shelter will be our will be the mountain. Yeah. But we're getting there. Okay, I think there this kunzite or kunzite yeah. is some kind of gems actually. Okay. Because it, it now when it lays here on the on the on the on, ah. the, on the ground, yeah. silver is silver nuggets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and maybe iron is iron ore. Yeah. But this is rough kunzite. And, and rough. Yeah. And ask I would ask you if it's displayed as an asterisk. Mm, but okay. I can't do that now. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you could Google it. I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not going to Google cunt side because I don't want. I don't want to turn safe with, search off. It starts with a K. <laughs> Chill out, man. <laughs> <clears throat> what, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm just thinking it refers to Immanuel Kant, 19th century uh, German philosopher. That's with philosopher. an A. That's with an A. <laughs> But I also like Immanuel Kant. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's it sounds the same. That's the thing. I know. We I'll, are I'll we still digging. Kind I of mean, off. we are already demonetized, so <clears throat> um, it's still going. Okay. The big hall. Do you want to designate a ramp in the western hall because that's where we wanted to place a dump? Yeah, sure. I think you have to like go down a level and then do you know to go down to that level. And then place the ramp there. I think that's how that worked. I might be wrong. Okay, I need to figure out again how I go up and down. I think shift and then the the crocodile button, um, the greater than less than symbol. Uh, if you hit shift, it will put you down one level. There is also a number somewhere indicating your Z level, and if it goes down, then that that's working. Okay, we're currently on Z level two. That's good to know. I think. No, mm -hmm. on, Z, on Z level one. Are you sure that's not idle dwarfs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then we go to minus one. We Great. learn from our mistakes. Minus two, minus one. Okay. So designate um, and then a ramp. Yeah. Where in this in this cavern? But where do you want the dump? With Maybe respect to the upper, the close hall. Close to the entrance, right? Yeah. Okay. Or in one corner. I would put it in the middle. Okay, that's. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cuz that's like the main feature in this hall. This is a dump hall. <laughs> <laughs> this is where dwarves take a dump. <laughs> Great. Oh, I don't know. Mm, let's do this. Sure. So, there's one uh designate mine? No. Ramp. Ramp or upstairs, downstairs? Ramp. Ramp. Where can I find ramp? With building? Uh, do designate. Designate. And then we have mine. I guessed mine, but like, no. You can mine out different things. If uh, you hit mine, do you get another menu? Uh, let me see. Enter. No. I. No. I mean, I can. Wait a second. In the designate menu, what options are there? Let's see. Designate. Mine, upstairs, up downstairs. Remove upstairs slash ramps. Um, chop down trees, gather plants, smooth stone, engrave stone, carve, carve, toggle, toggle, remove construction, remove designation, set buildings, channel upstairs, up ramp. There you You're go. right. Sorry. That's fine. What letter is it? R. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, so, up ramp. Is it done? Let's see if something's happened. That's usually pretty quick. <coughs> Is somebody going there? No, nothing happened. I fucked up. Okay, again. Designate. Then we go there. Go one down. And designate a ramp. All right. Uh, and then continue, dwarfs. Nothing happens. Is it maybe a down ramp we have to build? It said up ramp, right? Yes. 
so it should be designated on the lower level. But you know, I mean, is it being marked as, hey, this is designated for a ramp? Because then it'll be fine. You you have no guarantee that the miners will pick this immediately, right? They are busy elsewhere anyway. Um, yeah, let's see with K, right? No, you don't need K. If you just look at the map, yeah, it and if you designate area to be dug out, there's nothing marked there. It's still it black. should be marked. It's not. Yeah. So Did you hit enter twice? Yes. I can do it again. Designate. Weird. R for up ramp. Yeah. Then I go one level down where I want to have it. Yeah, that sounds right. Then I designate and then mm -hmm. selection one by one by one. Yeah. And enter again. Enter again. And is it marked now? No. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's weird. <coughs> Designate. Let's see. What if you do two by two? Just for laughs. I can try. Uh, ramp up. One down. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. If you just designate it to be mined out. Or just to mine out? Yeah. I'm just wondering if if you're just not seeing it. If maybe the display is different, I don't know. Ah, this could be the case, yeah. Yeah, no yeah, it's 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 not really visible. Or it's very I I okay, I, I didn't uh see it. And change it back to ramps. Otherwise they're gonna dig it out. Uh wait, something is happen is happening. The pits of Driven Scorpion has been found a half day's travel to the west oh. and looks to your thriving economy for its future prosperity. Uh, okay. Press enter to close window. Okay. I guess that's another dwarven civilization. It sounds menacing. Pits of something. Pits is never The good pits news. of Driven Scorpion. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, but probably a dwarven fortress. Mm -hmm. Oh, we found something else. What have we here? Okay, let's see. Rough uh, moss opals, so nice. green green gemstones. Cool. Okay, <clears throat> I mean, the area for the dump is designated. <clears throat> can I right. see it? Can can you make a zone? I mean, okay, no, it's not dug out. Right? It's not dug okay, out. Yeah. They are currently, or the the miners are currently. Uh, still digging out the storage pile. Yeah, okay. But they're almost done. Yeah, okay. Then they'll get to the ramps. And then we can get the ramps done, yes. Yeah, and then we can make some sleeping quarters, I would say. Mm -hmm. And a dining hall. And then we should probably start on the farm, mm -hmm. which I want to get up and running very soon. Mm -hmm. Which will include a cistern and all that. Maybe not a cistern. Maybe just just, just a flooding system. Mm -hmm. The thing is, just one level down. If we go just one level down, right? Yeah. Uh, is it the case? Yes, it's it's the case. When we go one level down, we can d completely dig uh, to the river underground if you want. Yeah, that's great. I was gonna place the farm one level down anyway. Mm -hmm. I would say below the dining room. The ramps are built. Nice. So make a zone. Zone. Uh, it's not Z, that, that's status. Uh, and actually, I think this is how we killed a dwarf last time. <laughs> okay. I for zones, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So, this is now a zone. Yeah. And what should it be? Water source, fishing, gather... Dump. Dump. Um, garbage dump. D. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And just make it over one of the tiles. Let's try not to... At least try not to kill a dwarf this time. Oh, I've already made it bigger. Delete it. How can I delete it? Uh, I and X. X. Remove zone. That was easy. And now make uh, it again. I. Make it again. Make it again. 
but just in one corner, maybe bottom left. Bottom left. Right. Right. Okay, and now please designate. You, see, you got uh, it. One second. Garbage dump. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Escape done. Okay. And now designate. Mm -hmm. And remove ramps. That might be capital R. I don't know. What's that? Z. Okay. And go down a level and just remove not the. I mean, yeah. Remove the bottom left, the top left, and the bottom right. So everything except the top right. Okay. So the top left, the bottom left, and mm -hmm. the bottom right. Yeah. So right, they the dwarves can still go down the top right ramp, but they won't get a stone on their head immediately. Okay. Nice. And now uh, I think it's designate again, and you just select that entire storage area. Um, but like with what was it? Um, dump. A stockpile, right? No, no, no. You want to dump all that stone, right? That's the whole point. But there are also like silver in there, or there's silver in there, and uh, then you have to not select those. Okay. Or like you select everything, and then you select remove the dumping on the silver and stuff. Okay. Uh, but this is with uh, designate. I it? think so, isn't it? If, uh, I think it's designate, and then like item options and stuff. Maybe you have to read the options to me, and I can tell you. Um. S Set building or item properties. That one. <laughs> okay. That was quick. Reclaim items, forbid items, melt, remove dump items. Dump. D. Yeah. Okay. And you just select the entire storage room. Okay. Yeah, and now whatever you want to save, you have to, I think, designate again and then maybe reclaim or something. C for reclaim items. Yeah. Just disable the dumping thing. Or remove dump. Yeah. M well, I, is it in the designate menu? Then uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the silver and whatever you want. Mm -hmm. The whole mountain is probably full of silver. It makes such a big deal out of this one piece. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's not one piece. No, I it's okay. I'm just making fun of you. It's probably a whole vein, right? Yes. Or a cluster. Yes. Because this game is geologically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... I'm almost done. Don't worry about it. This is the joy of Dwarf Fortress. Brought to you by Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. And then this one nice. item needs to dump. Needs Can you do me a favor? Yes. Hit K and look at one of the silver items. Silver nuggets. Just to check. Check if it has an F or a D next to the name. Okay. It's of the silver items? Yeah, the ones you just uh, undumped. It has nothing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And the rocks have a D be besides. Excellent. Yeah. No, nice. I think they will be forbidden once they are actually dumped. Okay. And now you can unpause and hopefully the dwarves will swarm the storage like mad dwarves and pick up the stones and dump them nothing is happening why is excellent <laughs> <laughs> they sleep sleep <coughs> and sleep and constructing a rock door and they have no job the miners why are maybe the dump isn't working yeah okay let's look at the dump again okay did you designate the dump on the bottom or the top level the bottom of the top level the bottom or the top level uh, I think I, don't, I'm I not think it sure. has to be on the top level. Oh, like I think I designated <coughs> in the bottom. Then remove it, because I think the dump zone needs to hover over f free space. Okay. 
and a designated zone is not free space. No, I mean, it needs to hover above a hole, you know? I mean, that's the case. Okay, so I thought it's on the bottom level. Yes, but do I need to remove this dump zone on the bottom level? Or I can guess I technically you don't, but let's do it just to not have this useless zone around. Okay. Um, how do I remove this zone? I think it's I and X. I and X. Okay. Remove zones. Remove, remove rectangle. Okay. All right. And now make a zone again. I and whatever was dump. But in the top level, right? Yeah, which is... That's the level we dug into the mountain. That's like, what, Z level one? Um, or zero? No, it's actually... No, the dump zone is in the top. The garbage dump. So it is on the top Yes. Level. All right. I think that's the correct level. Okay. Then, well, you can look at the dump zone, I guess. <clears throat> See if we have to enable it. This is always... We always fuck this up. <laughs> this is like the first thing we do, and it's always a disaster. Okay. Um, but eventually, <clears throat> we always figure it out. I mean, the garbage dump is enabled, so it's white. Okay, good. Uh, and it's active. Yeah. You can also deactivate, but no. it's active. And, I mean, there is a, a zero in parentheses behind it. Yeah. But I don't know what this means. Okay, I have another idea. Yes. I think the garbage dump zone needs to be adjacent to the hole and not over the hole. You know what I mean? Yes. So, off to zoning you go again. I mean, it's my best idea. I think it's correct. So you would just make it to the left or the bottom of the hole, I suppose. A Zone number two. A little garbage dump. Below it. Okay. Now there is... Is it? it, it it's done. Okay. It's done. Okay, let's see. Oh, now the dwarves are swa ah, swarming yes. in. Okay. Swarm, little dwarves. Nice. And they take the trash out. Nice. Okay. Shall I also designate the whole... The, I mean, we have three rooms right, right now, right? That's right. And the big one is getting cleaned out. Yeah. Should, that should, can be a stockpile now. Should the other two also be cleaned out? Um, that's up to you. A, a lot of that stone we will use for masonry, I suppose. But you, you can designate it if you want, sure. There will be more stone to come. I mean, it doesn't bother me right now, so it's all right, I think. Yeah. Uh, can we already make the stock yeah, stockpile? Yeah, with P. P. And you can make it a custom one already if you want. We're just It's just going to be a, have everything enabled, except refuse and corpses. Okay. Animal, furniture, corpses, stone, gem, cloth, ammo. Just custom. Custom stockpile C. Mm -hmm. Custom settings. Yeah. What should be enabled? Everything except corpses, refuse, I don't know. Animals, food, furniture, yeah, we want stone, everything. ammo, coins, bars, blocks, gems, finished goods, leather, cloth, wood, armor. Everything. And weapons and sheet. Okay. Yeah. And you make that the whole room. The storage room. Um, custom stockpile. Great. Okay. Looks nice. Nice. And they should be busy now with hauling a lot of stuff. Uh, really? Yeah, because they should bring in the wagon, I think. <clears throat> Can they bring in the wagon? No, not, but everything that's on the wagon. Ah, uh, 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 sure. You can also hit T and go to the wagon and have them disassemble the wagon. The wagon, where is it? There is it. For Brit dump view wagon. I mean, there's still stuff on the wa that wagon. Sure. I can't really disassemble. Uh, I think it was T and then go to the wagon and then you can disassemble it, but maybe not. No, maybe it's buildings. Maybe with Q. Q. Set buildings, tasks, and preferences. Is the wagon a building? Wagon, remove building. 
On the wagon? Ja. Yeah. Okay. <lacht> Slated for removal. Okay. Needs carpentry. For the wagon. Ja. Yeah. I guess. Ja. Yeah. It'll turn into a bunch of logs. Okay. So it's good. Nice. And, you know, it just looks more proper to mm -hmm. not have this wagon. Uh, do you want to dig some uh, quarters? Yeah, why for not? For the little dwarfs? Yeah, why not? Okay, here's my proposal on how to do quarters, okay? Mm -hmm. This is going to be complicated. Okay. <laughs> sure. So listen up. So, take the western hall and take the western wall of the western hall. Yeah. How long is that wall? Um... It's from top to bottom, it's yeah. 11 squares. Okay. 11, okay. Let's, let me see. It's like one shift click. So that's nice because it has a middle thing, right? Yes. So in that middle thing, let, before you do this, let's think this through together, okay? okay. So you can imagine it just along with me. Mm -hmm. In the middle of that wall, I would put an up-down staircase. Mm -hmm. And then diagonally from that staircase to the top left... We could make a, a, a luxurious 3x3 three three room mm -hmm. that would fit, right? Um, that would certainly fit to, you know, to the west, the, the north and the west. Yeah, sure. Okay. And in that room, then in the, in the bottom right corner, we can place the door and there will be n enough space for furniture. And then, again, considering the up and down staircase, Uh, to the bottom and the left, you can make another 3x3 three three room. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Makes sense. And But there should be a wall between those rooms then, which is uh, horizontally aligned with the, with the up and down staircase. Makes sense, right? Mm, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. You want to dig that out first before we do other stuff? I have a question about yeah. this. I mean, uh, so the up downstairs? Yeah. And the uh, the rooms should be on the upper level then, or no, on the same gonna, level. Okay, that, uh, everything I was describing so far is on this level. Okay. But we can then go up, for instance, mm -hmm. and repeat that pattern, mm -hmm. or go down and repeat that pattern, and also spread it out to the right if we want. So we have a stack of. That's right. Uh, with just living this rooms. One, yeah, ex living quarters with this one staircase in the middle. I mean, one thing. Yeah. I have an idea. Yeah. What we could do is um, we could uh, do this, right? But then I think we um, block our way to dig even further to the west. Right? Um, maybe. Kind of. I right? don't know what the um, mountain looks like. So I trust you on this. We could, from this western hall... Some migrants have arrived. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, fine. We don't have sleeping quarters yet, but sure, migrant. How many? Um, I'm not sure. L it should have zoomed to the edge of the map. Yeah, it does, but I... Where are they? I can't see them. Uh, it pauses before one of them has entered the map, usually. If you unpause, they will slowly trickle in. Okay... Where are they? They it, the map usually zooms exactly where they will enter the map at, at one of the edges. Yeah, I, I am there right now, but I can't see. You them. can't see any. Okay, let's go to the unit list. Yeah. Are oh, they not there? But we are six. Oh, Don't no. you start with seven dwarfs? No, we were eight. Oh, we uh, just one miner came. No, two miners. From no, for the miner. migrants. Yeah. Okay. I mean because. The mason we had, the fish cleaner and the fisher dwarf yeah. we had. Yeah. We had an expedition leader and a woodcutter, mm -hmm. and we designated two miners. Well, we had a we had one miner and we made the jeweler a miner. Yeah, and now we have a third miner. So just one immigrant, one miner. That's quite nice. Did he bring a pickaxe? That's a great uh, migrant. I don't know, he but um, if he has it, we'll yeah, okay. See. <coughs> but it's it's not a large wave. Whatever. Yeah. Um, Let's talk more about the living quarters. You were saying we will fuck up the path to the west. Yes. That's okay. I, I was wondering, from the western hall, if we dig a tunnel to the south, will we hit the storage area? No. We will... And th that was my idea, maybe, that it's not a big deal that we block our way to the west, because there's enough space to even... We can go south, make a hall there, and then go further to the west from that hall. 
yeah, or we could surround the storage area with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, halls. Symmetrical halls. That was my plan. A grid ah, of halls. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So we, we and form then in the these, these halls we build vertically to use vertical space, which okay. is a good idea. Okay. That's that's nice. Yeah. I like this. And I would like to eventually. Let's not waste time in the start with this. But eventually, I want the ceilings of those halls taken out. Obviously. Obviously. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. But in the walls of these halls, we can make <laughs> a living quarters, right? Yeah, sure. Um, so, in the western wall, um, in the center, a staircase, up-down staircase. Yeah, I would this say is so. Designation, um, up-down up stairs. Staircase. Just one square. Just one square. Um, chip, chip. Uh, this is done. And now you just designate area to be mined out. Mm -hmm. And from that uh, staircase, you go up and left one square mm -hmm. and then you start designating and you go left two squares and up two squares. So you have a three by three area top left of the central staircase. And this works that they can diag... Yes. diag and even with a door. Okay. That's the trick of this kind of setup. Okay. And it's a pretty large room. Dwarfs really only need a two by two, but I figure, hey, we got space. Why not? Yes. Okay. This looks nice. Okay, and the same to the bottom left, right? Uh, I've did this already, yeah. <clears throat> Very good. And if you want, you can already make a up staircase one level below. Okay. D for designate. And here we can really go to town. It has started raining again. Uh, and upstairs, downstairs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Confusingly. But that's all right. Yeah. So just directly below the uh, up-down staircase above? On the level of the dump, yeah. right? Yeah. One, one below. And, and there also and making... And now you can make four rooms. No, we can't because the dump is in the way. The fucking dump is in the way. Well, you know what? Why don't we just put the fucking dump into living quarters of the dwarves? And whoever we don't like, we assign to those rooms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you make them slightly smaller if you make them three by two. Let me, let me check this out. All right. <laughs> or you just don't make rooms there. Whatever. <laughs> no, just it just fits. Yeah? Even with a wall between the room and the dump? Yes. Okay, see? I knew this would work. I mean, these are still the most uh, most garbage Dumpy rooms. Dumpy apartments? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we'll make them nice. Uh, Put some silver cutlery in there. Mm -hmm. And then above as well, right? No, uh, only two above because remember, we want to take out the middle eventually. You know what I mean? No. So you have the Western Hall, right? I do have that, the Western Hall. That big room. Yes. And what I want is if you go up in that room, that level, mm -hmm. I want that taken out, including the floor. And one above as well. So mm -hmm. you have multiple Z levels of empty space. Ooh. Nice. You know what I mean? Okay. So we And then you can't have rooms there. So we need to go up like three stories? No, you just use the leftmost rooms. Just like on the main level mm, sure yeah just uh, line the wall yes, and yes. it's just the basement level we can use more space that's a nice idea and actually four levels up we could also use uh, many rooms but then i need uh need to make an up downstairs upstairs right yeah i'd say so yeah i would do that I'm really getting. I'm really getting the gist of it. Yeah, this is much more smoothly than um, some other videos we did <laughs> with this game, <laughs> which was just learning the game. That's fine. But yeah, this is always such an exercise in communicating three-dimensional space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is really training my hippocampus. I heard that's the area for space in the brain. Oh, really? Yeah. <coughs> and I hope it's not like I should commend you for um, being able to understand my. Uh, three-dimensional gibberish. 
It works fine. Yeah, I think. this would be easier if I could just draw it out, I guess. But this is what we're dealing with. So. But I really like our layout plan that All we right. have this big center storage area in the center, yeah, and then a lattice of uh, these halls. eleven yeah. by eleven halls, like cells. Yes, we should call them cells from now on. <laughs> I mean, then it's a cell block, and it's kind oh, of like a prison. Oh, that sounds like a prison. Yeah. No, I don't want that. That's a... Uh, hall is very dwarvy. Hall, yeah. Yeah. It's our fortress, right? Yes. Uh, this looks... Oh, we have struck resin opal. Cool. Someone now will have an opal wall in their apartment. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. It actually will increase the value of the room. Hmm. The, the game is quite aware of this. All right. Are they dug out? They uh, are still digging, doing their part. Yeah, okay. Digging them out. Um, and I guess the others are still hauling, or is the storage area by now filled in? Or uh, they are still hauling, but yeah. uh, it fills up. Yeah, okay. Slowly, but but surely. All right, all right. And we have so, and they're still dumping stuff, and the, everybody is busy. Okay. They store items in stockpile, dump items, are drinking, dumping items, store items, constructing rock cabinets, dump items, and fishing. I like that everyone. Oh, we have an administrator. He was, okay, so uh, wait a second. Is he a I told you that we only have one immigrant, yeah. but that was not true. They arrived a little later. Yeah, they arrived a little later. Yeah. We also, so we got one miner, we mm -hmm. got one web, a metalsmith, mm -hmm. which is, I think, quite amazing mm -hmm. and we got an administrator yeah that sounds not useful <laughs> <laughs> no but no. he's just dumping items so what an administrator he's does probably right fine yes. the metalsmith is indeed cool um a weaponsmith would be even better but it's okay we can train our own but I eventually you should set a dwarf to be like the stockbroker to take uh, count of our stocks yes i really like this um stockpile of uh, bedrooms we have <laughs> because when you go through the different Z levels yeah they are always on top of each other yes it's, it's nice. nice it's yes. neat we will make a very symmetrical fortress yes where do you want the big dining hall if we should we just like dig uh, a 10 by 10 hall south of the west hall and just make that entire thing the dining hall um a 10 by 10 West of what? So we have like this hall grid, right? Yes. And if I say the Western Hall, I mean the one next to the main entrance hall to the west, right? That 10 by 10. But do you this, follow? This is the dumping that, room. I could call it that as well, the dumping yeah. room. And I mean, do you want to dig a, another hall south of the dumping room uh -huh. but at the same distance? You know, so it's yeah. all symmetrical. That's also 10 by 10. Mm -hmm. And then just make that the dining hall. Yeah, why not? We're, we're going to need a dining hall somewhere. Yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe this is a good idea for the next episode. Sure. Um, oh, man. What a cliffhanger. What a cliffhanger. So much to do. Making the dining hall. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. But we got a lot of stuff done. I mean, oh yeah, very much faster. Yeah. And I'm We're in the fortress. We've secured it with a door. Nice. We got, we got some wood, we got some fish, we got some some immigrants already. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me after too, After this long pause we had. <clears throat> okay. All right, then. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, tune in to watch uh, uh, more of us playing Dwarf Fortress, if you like. Uh, you can leave comments if you want. Tell us if you like the new graphics set. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at makes underscore play. Thanks, Stefan, for playing. Thank you, Marius. Do you have any last words? Um, also, thank you to the listeners and uh, video consumers, I guess. But uh, see you next time. Yes. Thank you, video consumers. <laughs> Bye.